I think so many people would love to see you guys producing a cinema camera. So since nobody's really listening and we are in a very small closed room, <laughs> what is the chance to see such a camera in the near future? Hi, I'm Johnny from CineD and I'm here with Igarashi-san. Hello, How are Johnny. You? I'm good, thanks. Thank you, you very much for your time. Well, thank you for coming to X Summit. Thank you. And of course, Watanabe-san. How are you, Watanabe-san? I'm fine. As yeah. always. I'm sorry. And both of you are uh, managers at Fujifilm and I would like to ask a few questions, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. Of course not. So, the first one is about the summit that just happened. Mm -hmm. You introduced a new camera, the X106. Mm -hmm. Who is this camera actually for? Well, uh, it's for many people. Um, of course, uh, the photo enthusiasts who don't want to compromise with image quality. It's, it's got the APS-C sensor, so it can capture good image. But not only that, um, you know, they are people who love um, using uh, film cameras, so the way they want to manipulate the cameras. And also young people uh, who have never used those type of cameras before, and also uh, people who love the gadgets. And also uh, because it's a fashionable camera, people also wear it you know, as part of the fashion as well. This is the first, actually the second time that you, into, you are introducing an ND filter in a camera, but it's the first time that you have an ND together with IBIS. Was there any challenges, uh, technical ch challenges in implementing both? Uh, the the built-in ND filter uh, is a function that has been uh, available since the, the original uh, X100. And uh, uh, the, about the video performance, step-by-step, uh, step, uh, we have uh, gradually uh, improvement. So, and uh, we have received many feedback about uh, the energy filter is available for video. So, uh, at the timing of uh, X100P, we have a firmware update for this function. Were you technically challenged or it was not so bad? We have advantage because uh, X100 is a, a fixed range system, so uh, we can minimize the uh, ND filter element. And uh, uh, this is a lens element, a lens system, and uh, uh, ND filter and uh, aperture and shutter. Uh, the whole one unit is placed uh, f in front of the uh, lens system, so we can minimize and we can manage the space and the function. What is the chance that we're going to see such a feature in the near future in cameras with interchangeable lenses? This is one of the most requested features. We understand the request for the video such a uh, function, but uh, I think it's uh, difficult uh, because the, for the interchangeable lens system, we have a mechanical shutter and uh, uh, the sensor, in front of the sensor, we have uh, the shutter unit and the IBIS unit. And so for a fixed lens, we can manage, but uh, for the interchangeable system, it's, diff it's difficult in terms of the uh, space and the size issue. Okay, but can I rest assured that you are looking all the time for new solutions, I guess? No, otherwise you have oh, to yes. produce yes. Always. So many cameras we fix for the lens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. The original X105 was in a very high demand, yes. but the supply was very short. What are you doing in order to, to overcome this, to, to, to minimize waiting time for the new X106? So, yes, uh, thankfully, uh, the previous model uh, proved to be very popular and uh, Generally, from the first generation, it's, it's been a, f a very popular camera, but uh, the 5 sold with a V, sold very well, ex exceptionally well. So we basically doubled our capacity to make sure we can supply enough. But like when we, we introduced a 100V, uh, you know, 
we thought it was enough at that time, which wasn't. So I, you know, I hope uh, we'd be able to supply uh, the demand uh, this time. You also decided to make the camera in China. And this is one of your top models in a way. Yeah. Why, why did you move the production to China? Has anything to do with availability or just a, what, what's the decision behind, behind it? So we have the biggest capacity in China. So in terms of production, it makes more sense. Um, and uh, the quality is exactly the same when you make it in Japan or in China, of course. And uh, lots of uh, components come from around the China and the surrounding countries. So in terms of lead time and securing production capacity, uh, it made sense to have it made in China. The Riala Ace proved to be yeah. a, a very popular film simulation. Personally, I really like working with it. But the only issue, it is available for the uh, GFX 102 and now also for the new camera. Yes. What, uh, any chance to see this uh, coming soon to other cameras? Uh, yes, actually uh, when we developed it for uh, the GFX 102, we had an idea to do that same for the, the uh, X106. And now that uh, we have uh, the X106 done, uh, the cameras with the same platform, which we call it the fifth generation, you know, sensor and processor combination, we can apply that to those models. So we'll be rolling out the Riala ACE film simulation uh, to those models. Very nice. I also hope to see other features like extended recording to SSD and maybe anamorphic uh, disk quiz, but you know, let, let's, <laughs> let, let, let me dream. <laughs> Recently at CineD, we ran a poll. We asked our audience if they would like to see a Fujifilm cinema camera. Yes, I actually saw that. You saw yes. this? Yes. I think so many people would love to see you guys producing a cinema camera. So since nobody is really listening and we are in a very small closed room, <laughs> what is the chance to see such a camera in the near future? Uh, yes, first of all, uh, thank you for doing that questionnaire and we really appreciate, you know, people are interested to see uh, our image quality in, in the cinema field. And of course, uh, we always look into the possibility uh, of there's no concrete plan at the moment, but um, that's something which we're always thinking. And I think uh, during the past uh, couple of years, we put a lot of efforts in uh, uh, making sure we improve our video capability. So, oh, you know, that's uh, something we've been focusing on, and uh, the video will be, uh, you know, will continue to be a, um, one of the main focus for us. Many people mentioned in this poll that they love the X-H2S and the X-H2. So theoretically you have the brain, let's say, and kind of what it needs is a different packaging. And of course with some add-ons to make it a professional cinema camera. But if you don't mind, what I will take from your answer that currently on the pipeline, there is no cinema camera planned. At the moment, At the there moment. is not. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes, may, of course makes me very sad, but if it is what it is. Yeah. It might change tomorrow, right? Oh, <laughs> so fast. <laughs> okay, okay. One interesting topic is global shutter in modern mm. hybrid cameras and also in cinema, ca cinema cameras. Mm. Is Fujifilm looking into this particular thing? Is it interesting for you guys in any way? Of course, uh, we, we cannot give you the answer about the future, but uh, same as uh, in the past, uh, we have uh, studying any kinds of uh, technologies, of course, uh, we have focused on the uh, technology about the sensor. So, so you are looking at this type of development. As yes, which film? Yes, the technology is of course interesting. Yeah, yes. So, especially on, on on the cinema side, I think. Yeah. So you just wrapped up one summit. Should we expect? any more summits this year and more exciting news to come? Yes, uh, of course. Um, you know, we have more products uh, coming this year. So we actually announced uh, yesterday during X Summit that next one will be in Sydney, Australia. So yes, 
There you go. <laughs> Not so bad. Interesting. Good. And that will happen when? Uh, we haven't announced that yet. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll let you know once we fix the date. Okay. Anything else that I forgot to ask or you would like to enhance because it's a good chance we're already talking? Anything? Anything else? Uh, uh, this product, uh, we have confidence uh, about the uh, evolution from the previous model. So I hope uh, everybody uh, try to use and uh, hopefully uh, everybody please buy this camera <laughs> and in, enjoy for uh, enhance the everyday life uh, with smile. I can already see the comments. We want to buy, please deliver. But <laughs> yeah, let's hope for the best. Yeah. Great. Igarashi san, thank you very much for your time. Thank what you another san, thank you thank very you so much. much. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.